Weidenfeld program has added tremendous value to my overall experience at Oxford. Um, mostly because it is a nexus of truly outstanding people that all come from very different backgrounds and everyone in their own way adds to the whole program. Also, I think I speak um, for everyone when I say that we are truly privileged and thankful to Lord Weidenfeld for including us um, into his remarkable network of people. Um, and it has been a privilege to be part of this. I think it's a great opportunity for young people from all over the world to come and to share uh, ideas and to share experiences and to build a network of young people who are actually committed to some common ideals and goals. It doesn't give you just money, it also invests a lot in your, in your development as a, um, as a future academic, as a future leader. It invests in your social skills, it, in, it connects you with people with whom you will not otherwise be connected with. And I think this is a huge advantage of um, Weidenfeld scholarship over, over other scholarships. The most I've gained from this experience is the people that I've met, the connections that I, I have already made. And uh, I'm sure in the future when we all go back to our countries, these connections will work for us in a positive sense. I think being a Weidenfeld Scholar is one of the most prestigious uh, titles that a student can get in Oxford. And uh, given that it's very new, I think given what it has achieved has been very remarkable. So I had my expectations set really high and I must say that I wasn't disappointed in the slightest way. Lord Weidenfeld is certainly a unique man, um, a man of strong convictions, um, a man of admirable intellectual strength, but also of great tolerance and terrific sense of humor. Going through his life, he managed to have such an impact on other people, like let's say Weidenfeld scholars, that he has changed their lives forever. And this is, I think, the example of how a person can leave something after himself in this world. Knowing and hearing Lord Weidenfeld talk about his experience in the publishing industry and his relationships with all these amazing writers over the years was, was very inspirational to me and reminded me that um, people in the creative industries do have a real role to play in, in affecting change. My most memorable piece of advice that I received from Lord Weidenfeld was at his house. And he told me that whenever you enter a room, you should always find the people with the, what he called first level intelligence. And those are the people you could seek out because you can learn the most from them in the least amount of time. And those nuggets of information that you receive from the people with first level intelligence will carry you very far. So I thought that was a pretty wonderful bit of information. Back home we have a kind of phrase resource person, meaning like you're talking to a person and you're learning something and you're seeing something new and you're finding some new things. That's what Lord Feinefeld uh, is for me at least. Whenever I talk to him, it's so interesting and I find something absolutely new I had no idea about before. So. Lord Weidenfeld, thank you very much for this amazing opportunity to be here in Oxford and to have uh, met so many amazing people, uh, both from the Institute and from the other, uh, the other scholars. I would like to wish you a happy birthday. May you live long and inspire more and more young people from all over the world with your example. Happy birthday. Dear Lord Weidenfeld, happy birthday, or as we say in Ukraine, Mnoha Elita. That means many happy years for you to come and to enjoy everything that you have done in your life. Because life and joy is what is really meaningful. Happy birthday. Thank you, Lord Weidenfeld. My dream has come true. I'm here in Oxford. Happy birthday, Aksakal. Lord Weidenfeld, La Multan. In Romanian, this means happy birthday. I once read that a man is always young enough to dream but always too old to fulfill those dreams. 
and you, Lord Weidenfeld, have chosen to fight against this paradox of life. And that, I think, is what separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. Um, whether you're 19 or 90 years old, um, what matters at the end of the day's battle is how blunt that sword of yours is. And you, Lord Weidenfeld, are the kind of man who sharpens that sword every day for a new undertaking. And so with that, I think that truly deserves the very best wishes for many more endeavors and publications and scholars yet to come. So happy birthday and thank you. Thank you.